The first time I actually come was 1973, and uh, it seemed like a sleepy hollow, if you know what I mean. You know, from the uh, the wild side of London and stuff, and nightclubbing and all that sort of stuff you do over there, and then coming to New Zealand, it just seemed so quiet, so free, so spacious. It was a slow pace of life. And whilst it wasn't, you know, it was, it was for me to get used to it first off, but you, you, you kind of sort of settled into it. My intention was to do the contract, play the, the season, and, and then go back home to see my family, but it just never worked out that way. <laughs> From John and Kevin's point of view, they wanted to have a team that first off was fit. It was, really was tough. We did uh, sprint tests, uh, you know, durability tests, f fitness runs. Some of the players might have been used to it, accustomed to it, some of us obviously, obviously weren't. And it was just hard work, you know what I mean? I've never been a good trainer. You know, someone said, do you really like going training? I said, no, all I want to do is play. I, I like had this magic potion that I could put in and go, whoosh, be ready to go without doing any of that training at all. So I just didn't like it. But you know, so for me, it was probably harder than, than it was for some of the other guys who were just, you know, quite talented in that area. So it was a, it was a bit of a workhorse for me, but you know, if you want to get in the side, that's what you've got to do. Now New Zealand, New Zealand with a four against the three. Break. Here's Bobby Armand coming forward. I suppose the type of person uh, that I am, I love the limelight, love you know people liking what we do, and on that basis, uh, you know it was just it wasn't a pressure, it was more like a pleasure uh, to perform. That more people, you know, one of the situations we had because we were doing so well, we'd been away. We used to stay in a motel called the Alexander Park Motel, just opposite the Trotting Green. And when we come back, because we'd achieved all those results, we got moved from there to, which was our, now our, well, it's not even there now, our ancestral home, uh, Logan Park and Campbell Road. And that was, that was our base, you know. So we, we got upgraded. We're like a Coral Club member gets upgraded, go on a flight. And that, in its own way, was just another pleasure. It was meant to be, you know, the, the length of the, the time from quality start to finish of the qualifying, the number of games we played, the miles, you know. Uh, the, the records that we set, it just, we just, we wanted to finish it on a really high note. And so for us, it was pretty, you know, desperate stuff. And I remember a couple of times I made some tackles just to clear the ball away. And it was, and it was every man for himself. We were just, because I think we started to get tired as well, mentally tired and physically tired. Uh, you know, someone just running around with no energy, no, nothing left in the tank. Uh, so it was pretty desperate stuff. Mission accomplished, New Zealand's finest footballing hour. The energy drained out of me. I was just happy. I was just elated. Whereas some people just, you know, bawled in tears because it just got too much. Of them. I was because I was always within the side or in the squad. I was the one. I was the piss taker. I was the lively one and crack a joke here and there and everything else. And so for me, that was the way that, that I was. It was just just happiness that we'd actually got through all this time. It's it's pretty hard to describe. And I suppose like you know, winning a gold medal or breaking a, a, a world record for us. It wasn't just one instant, you know, where we'd had an 800 metre run or throwing a javelin or, or whatever. We'd actually just, over a period of time, this magical journey that come to fruition. Because Graham Souness, who's in the Scottish team, uh, him and I played together at Tottenham Hotspur when we were young. I was 17, 18 years of age. And we are in the same Spurs side at the time. I had Steve Perriman in as well. Uh, and we. We won all before us in the, as, as a youth team. I think we won the FA Cup, Youth Cup that year, won the league and three other cups. And uh, I actually looked up to, to Graham. He was in my side, but he was a special player. Even in those early days, he just, silky skills. He always had time on the ball, confidence. He was a, just um, a very good player really early on. And so, you know, blow me down, here we are on the pitch at uh, uh, Malaga. And I got, I got injured in the second half and come off. Um, and I remember, you know, the shirt swapping that goes on at full time. I think one of the couple of players went up to him and said, "Look, you know, can we swap shirts?" He said, "No, I'm giving mine to Bobby." And I thought that was really, really good. So I got his shirt. I think one of my daughters got it. It was just, yeah, it was unreal to actually be there. You know, as a 17-year-old kid, he was obviously the same age. And you know, 15 years on, we're playing against each other in in Spain. Special moment.